Welcome to Strip Trivia. I'm Daniel. We're not trivia buffs, but we are in the buff. Today, we've got trivia on six of our favorite TV shows, as well as 10 articles of clothing on. You miss a question, you take an article of clothing off. The game ends when one guy ends up naked. Today's loser has to watch an episode of Two Broke Girls. Rachel, are you ready? You bet your sweet ass I am. All right, first round, The Office. Question one. What is The Office's starting lineup in their basketball game against the warehouse in season one? Mm, I don't know. (sighs) Well, I know that Michael is on it. I know that Jim is on it. And I feel like Kevin and Phyllis just go on, just, just play later, but they're not on it. And then Stanley's on it. I don't know. I don't like lists. My brain just skips over details, so I don't do... Um, I bet Dwight is playing. And, oh, is I bet Ryan? Oh, how about Ryan, too? Okay, so what's your final? I don't know. Michael, Dwight, Ryan, Stanley, and Jim. Correct. <laughs> Just like it. <laughs> um, and bonus question, who was the sixth that he picked? I don't, I don't even know what you're referring to. He picks one more person, it's Phyllis. She's like a sub. Okay. All right, question two. What does Michael try and order from Wendy's over the phone in the season four chair model Mm. episode? A baked potato is one of them. Maybe it's the whole thing. Is that your final? I feel like it's and a baked potato. What does Wendy's sell besides? (laughs) You know what they sell. I I mostly am familiar with, oh, maybe a Frosty? How about a Frosty and a baked potato? Correct. Three, what temperature does Oscar like to keep the office's thermostat? I think it's like 72. I know somebody else, I think Kevin likes it at 69 and Oscar likes it warmer. Because 69 is considered, oh no, 69 is considered too hot. Right? Or is it too cold? My, my, my gut was saying 70, I'm just going to say 72. No, Oscar likes it cold. It makes him feel 62? more productive. No, 66. What's coming off? Oh, my hat. Simple enough. Okay. Question four. This is season two. In terms of conducting business, what does Michael consider chilies to be? Oh, it's like the new golf course? Correct. Question five, your last one. On their first date, where did Roy take Pam? <laughs> I have this question for you. It's not to find another question. <laughs> uh, it was a minorly cocky game. Yeah, you're right. All righty. Okay, Daniel, ready? I'm ready. Okay, how long was Roy and Pam's engagement? Uh, I guess eight years. No, it was three years. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. For some reason, I, I um, was thinking like how long they've been dating. Okay, you're talking a lot and not taking <laughs> off that uh, sweet, sweet headband. Yeah, I'm wearing a headband. Well, I was, that's off. All right. Okay, why does Michael say he's afraid to move to Colorado? Uh, because they, well, all the new, um, all the station, all the channels will be different. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) He says the television channels will be out of order. Okay, question three. What does Dwight say is the title of Michael's book? Hmm. Well, his book is Somehow I Manage, right? So. No. It's, it's what like did if, Jan say? That thing? It's that thing. It's like if my lot of memoir. <clears throat> That's really long. Um, it's like, what are they doing in there? Or what's... What did Jan say? The Michael Scotts. I don't... I don't say I don't know. You're like... I'm pretty close. 75% of the way there. It's like... Um, what did Jan say? Colon. The Michael Scott story. That's so close. I don't know. Should I just give it to you? Well, what's the actual? The actual thing is something weird is going on, colon. What did Jan say? The Michael Scott story by Michael Scott with Mm -hmm. Dwight Schrute. Yeah, so I forgot the something weird. I think I got to take something off, unfortunately. I'll take off, um, I'll take off a pair of these shorts. I have so many shorts on over my sweatpants. I do too. I feel like I'm suffocating. Okay, you ready for question four? Yeah. When Kevin discovers he may have skin cancer, what are all the things that Jim and Pam buy him to make him feel better? I remember they buy him a bunch of like a uh, cup of noodles, right? Mm-hmm. So cup That's of noodles. 
Do you know the number of couples? 69, probably. Yeah. Okay. Because it's his favorite number and his favorite lunch. Yeah. Okay. Uh, M&M's. That's right. And uh, it's like American Pie 2. Yeah. <sighs> that was tough. Last question. How much does Ryan ask Pam to invest in her wedding present? I was thinking $50 or $200. I think $200. Is that your final? Yes. It's $50. I'll take off another pair of shorts. Welcome back to Strip Shivia. It's like how Walter White takes his pants off to go to work. As it currently stands, I have seven articles of clothing on and Rachel has nine. Next up is Breaking Bad. Question one. What is Badger's real name? First and last. Oh, Brandon Mayhew. Oh, that was too easy. You're not good with names. I thought that would stump you for a second. It did for a second. <laughs> Literally. What European country does Lydia Rodart Quayle help bring blue meth to? Uh, Czech Republic. What is the name of the book that Hank reads and discovers Heisenberg's true identity? Um, I, I know it's Walt Whitman. It's Leaves of Grass. Yeah. What is one of the instruments that Jesse Pinkman's younger brother, Jake, is good at? Oh, that's a good question. I think it's like, oh, oh, <laughs> like piccolo. All right. Number five. Which friend helps Jesse procure the RV? Oh, is that combo? Yeah, it's combo. Correct. <sighs> okay. Are you ready for yours? How many times do you think you've seen Breaking Bad? Probably seen it six times all the way through. Okay, question one. What is Walt Jr.'s best friend's name? Lewis. <laughs> Got it. Okay. What year did Breaking Bad first air? Um, I remember where I was. So, 2008. Yeah. For question three, when Walt flees, what does Skylar end up doing for work? Uh, she's a taxi dispatch. Yeah. What is the name of the car wash that Walt and Skylar buy? A1A car wash. Yeah. I didn't remember that. That's why they say have an A1 day. That's why they say that. Okay, question five. When Hank asks Gus for a refill, what beverage does he choose? Diet Coke. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. All right. Nailed that. Welcome back to Strip Trivia. Our muffin tops are all that. The next show is 30 Rock. Question one. What fake award does Liz give to Tracy to pump up his ego? Mm, it's like the Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim Award. So close. What is it? But it's Pacific Rim Emmy. Pacific Rim Emmy. Okay, I'm taking off some shorts because I'm losing blood in my knees. <laughs> this is number one of, I think, four pairs of pants. Question two. What is the name of Jack's ex-wife? Uh, um, okay, um, Bianca? Yeah. Which, yeah, my bonus question was, what business do they co-own? Arby's. Yeah, that's right. All right, number three. Which actor plays Jack's private investigator? Oh, um, I know. Um, Steve Buscemi. Nice. Question four. Where is Kenneth Parcell from? City oh. and state, or town and state. <sighs> it's like Hill People, Mississippi. <laughs> he talks something. about Hill People, but... What is it? It's Stone Mountain, Georgia. Stone Mountain, Georgia. Okay, another pair of pants. We're tied up. Okay. Your last 30 Rock question. Liz comments that Jack goes to Sabaro when he's stressed, Christie's when he's depressed, and where when he's frisky. Multiple choice. A. It's a museum. It's like an art gallery. Let me read them all. A, New York Stock Exchange, B, oh. the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, C, Sotheby's Auction House, and D, the Guggenheim. Okay, well, I was thinking the Auction House, but the Stock Exchange sounds right. Well, it has to be the Auction House because she says that when he gets the painting, I think. The Stock Exchange makes sense to me. Just do the other one, though, the Auction House. Sotheby's Auction House? Yeah. No, it, it is New York Stock, Stock Exchange. Exchange. Christie's oh. is the Auction House, oh. so he was depressed. So what's coming off? Let's take off a sock. Okay, question one. What two celebrities does Tracy try to kill so that he won't die due to the rule of three? Oh. 
Oh, um, I think one is Jimmy Fallon. Okay. And two is Betty White. Yeah, good job. And then he also <laughs> asked Jack to get him on Charlie Rose. <laughs> okay, question two. Or what name is Jack's girlfriend, Elisa, known as in Puerto Rico? The Black Widow. Yeah. Okay. What is the restaurant where Jack says you can get the finest dessert in the world called the Lover's Delight? That doesn't ring any bells. He's going to take Elisa there. Oh. And they have to go to Mass first. Why not Mass? I don't know. I have no guess. It's called Plunder. Oh, yeah. That sounds good. It's like a sock off. What phrase does Tracy yell over and over on the 405 while wearing only his underwear and carrying a lightsaber? I am a Jedi! <laughs> yeah. Okay, question five. Can you name six of Liz Lemon's 11 love interests? Can I name... Okay, I'll, I'll do Floyd. Yeah. Uh, Dennis. Yeah. Carol. Yeah. John Hamm. So, Dr. John Hamm. <laughs> it's Drew Baird. Oh, Dr. Baird. And then um, Chris Cross. Yeah. One more. And then Wesley Snipes. Yeah. Nice. Okay, do you want to know the rest of them? Yeah, I do. So there's Dennis Duffy, Dr. Baird, Wesley Snipes, James Franco. Oh, yeah. Gavin Velour. Okay. What's that guy's name? Steve Steve Martin. Martin. Uh, Stuart LaGrange, which is Peter Dinklage. Oh, yeah, yeah. The UN guy. Floyd, Carol, Chris Cross. Yeah, there's the hair. And then there's Anders. And then there's Jamie, who's a super young guy. Who's like a delivery guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome back to Strip Trivia. It's pretty, pretty, pretty good. As it currently stands, we both have six articles of clothing remaining. Next show is Curb Your Enthusiasm. Question one. What is the final incident that causes Cheryl to leave Larry? I was actually trying to remember this the last time we were watching it. I'm just going to say when he invited the blacks to live with them. No, that was actually Cheryl's idea. Oh. Um, No, this is when she calls from a turbulent plane ride. She's scared that she's going to die. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's on the phone with the TiVo repairman. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So what's coming off? Oh, another sack. Question two. This one I think will stump you. Who does Vince Vaughn play in Curb Your Enthusiasm? Someone's cousin. Maybe Funkhauser's cousin. Can you give me a first name? I don't I don't know what his first it's name is. It's alliterative. Oh, Fre- Freddy. Freddy Funkhauser. There you go. Nice. Question three. Who gives Maria Sophia acting <laughs> lessons? Uh, Cheryl. Yeah. Question four. What is the name of Jeff and Susie's daughter? Oh, uh, see, see me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Question five. What is the Broadway musical that Larry stars in? That he stars in is The Producers. Yep, that's it. Okay, question one. What is the name of Larry's musical? Fatwa. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I guess you know, my question should have been more specific since he stars in two. Yeah, well, I knew what you meant. Okay, question two. What nickname does Leon give Larry in regard to the size of his testicles? Melon. It's alliterative again. Am I right with Melon? No. Oh. It's alliterative with Larry. Both of them? I don't remember this. The length of his testicles. Like a long... Long ball Larry. Yeah, it's long ball Larry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Funny. Okay, I have a multiple choice question for you. Good. Question three. In a game of categories, Shaquille O'Neal thinks what has dairy in it? Is it A, almond milk, B, peanut butter, C, applesauce, or D, eggs? I remember this. It's uh, peanut butter. Yeah. Question four. What item is Larry accused of stealing from restaurants? I steal forks. Yeah. And then question five. What is Larry David's mantra? Didn't we just look this up? Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I didn't really retain what his mantra was. Can you hear him saying it? Did you watch the clip? I think I did watch the clip even. It's too nonsensical. I don't know. I don't remember it. Just tell me. It's Jaya. Oh, Jaya. All right. I'm going to take off my other sock. 
you're about to crush this next category. Welcome back to Strip Trivia, the only place where never nudes are winners. As it currently stands, we both have five articles of clothing. Next show is Rest of Development. How do you know how many articles of clothing I have? Because I keep a tally on my sheet. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. How do you, what do you think I'm writing down over here? Number one, in season three, Buster gets a pet turtle. What does he name it? I don't know. Oh, m Mother. Yeah, Mother. Question two. What is the name of the series of religious tapes that George Sr. created in prison? Oh, they're Jewish in nature, I think, right? Um, yeah, they are. Um, I don't know. I haven't been able to think of it. Um, I don't know. No guess? Two words. I'll just take off my shorts. <laughs> okay, it's a caged wisdom. Question number three. What is the name of the housing development project that the Bluth Company is working on? Sudden Valley. Yeah, it sounds like something might happen all of a sudden. Or a dressing that you can marinate a chicken yeah. in. Okay, question four. What is the name of Tobias's book? Oh, The Man Inside Me. Yes. Question five. What is the name that George Sr.'s accountant, Ira, hates being called? Who, I can't even remember his accountant. What's the name that the accountant hates being called? Yeah, and George Sr. keeps calling him that. He goes, sir, once again, my name is Ira. I don't know. That doesn't even sound familiar to me. Ida. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's Gilligan. Gilligan? Do you know oh, he keeps calling Because it's the guy who plays Gil Gilligan? Is that why? I thought maybe it was his last name or something. I don't remember. Okay. What's coming off? I guess my sw I'm getting to the point where I want to keep some stuff. Right. But well, I'll take off my sweatshirt. What is An Young's real name? Hello. Yeah. <laughs> okay, question two. What song do Michael and maybe sing karaoke to? Afternoon Delight. Yeah. Okay, question three. What is Maggie Lizer's guide dog named? Justice. Yeah. Justice is blind. Yeah. Okay, question four. There, like, even if I spent all day looking for a thing to stump you, I probably couldn't I've do I've seen it. every episode like 30 times. So. Okay, which hand did Buster lose? He's going to be all right. He lost his left. Yeah. Okay, question five. What dance event at the Bluth Country Club is Lucille determined to win every year? Well, they want to win the um, something mother. Um, and there's like a metal band with a name, right? Hang on. I know this. I think I stumped you. No, no, no. I know this one. I've never seen you so meditative. Mother's in the title, right? I don't know. <laughs> You're really trying to even the score, aren't uh -huh. you? <laughs> I'm cold. Hang on one sec. Mother boy. Yeah. <laughs> I knew I could get there. Welcome back to Strip Trivia. If you can't beat them, sweetums. Right now, Rachel has three articles of clothing on and I have five. We're heading into the next show and the final show, which is Parks and Recreation. Question one. When Leslie finds out Tom is getting a divorce, she wants to cheer him up by taking him out. What is the name of the restaurant that Jerry suggests? Uh, uh, is it, it's the dinosaur themed restaurant? It's, um, is it Jurassic Fork? It is. Where you could once upon a time have your steak medium roar. Fun fact, we've been to that restaurant. We Clifton's. Lived, yeah, we lived right down the street from it. In season three, where does April meet her new boyfriend, Eduardo? Oh, uh, in Venezuela? Yeah. Question three. What is the name of the game that Ben creates while he is unemployed? Uh, Cones of Dunshire. It's all about the cones. According to their commercial, Sweetums Nutrium bars are made with love, sunshine, and a little bit of what? Corn syrup? Yeah, correct. And a bunch of other stuff. And a bunch of other stuff, yeah. <clears throat> Question five. In season three, where do we find Donna Meagle working since the government shut down? Oh, where is she working? I remember they go get her and she gets out of there real fast, but I can't remember. I can't like picture She's like that. on the phone with someone. I think it would be, if she's on the phone, it'd be funny if she was like a um, like an emergency responder. 
Feinheiser? Sure. No, she works at Kernston's Rubber Nipples. Okay. And she's like, can I put you down for 5,000 rubber nipples or not? Okay, speaking of nipples, I'm going to take off my shirt. <laughs> okay, are you ready for yours? Yeah. Question one. What is Bron Swanson's alter ego? Duke Silver. Question two. What does Andy call a Skittle smash between two starbursts? Andy's mouth surprise. Yeah. Question three. In what city does Donna have a condo? Doesn't she have one in Seattle? I, or she's like talking about moving to Seattle? I know it's not Muncie. That's Jerry. I think she has a condo in Seattle. Final answer. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Question <clears throat> four. What is the name of April Ludgate's aristocratic alter ego? You mean Janet Snakehole? Yeah. <laughs> Question five. What is the name of Joan Calamazzo's talk show? Oh, that's a good one. Pawnee Today. Yeah, it's so fun to watch your brain rewind. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You got out of there. Oh, Enjoy your junk. Well, well. So at the end of all six categories, Rachel still has two articles of clothing on and I have five. So we're going to keep asking each other questions back and forth until someone is out of clothes. They're TV-based questions in any genre. Okay. Um, I'll go first. I'll ask you first. What is Pam's favorite flavor of yogurt? Mixed berry. Oh. Okay. In the eighth season of Scrubs, after the janitor's name is revealed to be Glenn Matthews, what name does someone else walk by and call him immediately after? <laughs> I don't know. Frank? It's Tommy. Oh, that's, that's hard. I'll take off... I'll take off a sweatshirt. Who does Michael wear on his head during the activity on Diversity Day? Oh, Martin Luther King Jr.? Yeah. In Friday Night Lights, what is Landry's last name? Landry Clark. Yeah. Back in the office, at Hooters, Michael orders a chicken breast, hold the chicken. What does Jim order? Oh, uh, it's what he always has for lunch, which is ham and cheese. Okay, in community, who said, I think 9-11 was bad, and freedom, well, I think that's just a little bit better. <laughs> that sounds like Jeff trying to s sell the teacher on something. Um, I would just guess um, Jeff. It's Jeff. He was said it during his campaign speech. From the show Mad About You, what is Jamie Buckman's maiden name? A, st a stemple. Yeah. In Scrubs, JD makes a shirt to welcome Dr. Cox back after he kills three patients. What does it say? I don't remember the shirt. I have no idea. It says, welcome back, Coxer. Coxer. All right, I'll take off my shirt. All right, it's three to two still. Yeah. Well, now it's three to two. In Parks and Recreation, what is Ron Swanson's favorite restaurant? Um, I think it's El Elmo Steakhouse. Final? Sure. No, that's where they, they do end up going there, but uh, his favorite is Charles Mulligan Steakhouse. Charles Mulligan? Charles Mulligan. All right, here goes my pants. Okay, I'm down to one. In Scrubs, where did JD grow up? Oh, that's a good question. Do you know the state? I was just thinking of real life Zach Braff. I was thinking New Jersey. But um, no, I don't know the state because they make Scrubs like so location agnostic, even though it's clearly LA. I can't picture where he would have grown up. I imagine East Coast. Is that right, East Coast? It's Midwest. Midwest? I, I did not know that. Let me say this. In season four, episode two, JD makes friends with a furniture move, moving company worker, and the worker has a very strange knowledge of JD's early years, including his hometown. <laughs> oh, I remember that scene, but yeah, I don't know the specifics. Maybe, uh, maybe Michigan? It's Troutwood, Ohio. Ohio? Yeah. All right, I'll um, take off my pants. The score is now two to one. In Parks and Rec, what kind of car does Donna Meagle drive? I feel like you're doing that on purpose because I have one item of clothing left and I don't even know what kind of car we well, drive. Well, she like, makes a big deal I know, it. but I do know it. It's Mercedes. Yeah. Okay, in Friday Night Lights, there's a character nicknamed Voodoo. What's his real name? Ray Tatum. Yeah. In Scrubs, 
What does Turk mistake Carla's middle name as? <laughs> uh, it's like Wanda or something. Carla, it's not, what is it? Carla, um, this was just on. This was literally just on. Yolanda. Is that your final? Sure. It's Juanita. Juanita, <laughs> dang it. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's the game. That's the game. Well, that was kind of fun, but it's about to get a whole lot less fun. Because you're going to be watching Two Broke Girls <laughs> by yourself. Okay, so how do you want to end this episode? I don't know. You, I, you, I, I think you've been working on your stand-up routine. You want to give, give me a little bit of what you've been working on? Yeah, okay. Okay. I'm sorry. California's cold, so I'm the slut. <laughs> Strip Trivia is written, recorded, and produced by us, Rachel Galata and Daniel Inskeep. You can find out more about us online under the name Mango Street Lab. That's all for this one. We'll see you next time.